Google Forms is an online form builder that you could use for many different things. You could use it for education, for example, for making quizzes or assessments. You could use it at work for creating job applications, order forms or feedbacks, and you could use it for personal reasons for doing events, RSVPs, party invites, all kinds of different things. And you could also start from a completely blank canvas. So in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know in order to use Google Forms. Now you could go to google.com slash forms and it's gonna bring you to this page and you could actually go to forms right from here. So click go to forms and then this is gonna bring you to your Google Drive. So if you have not set up a Google account, it will ask you to sign up for one, but you most likely have one already if you have a Gmail or if you used other products before like Google Docs, Google Sheets or Google Slide. Google Forms is one of those products that's inside of your Google Drive for free. If you're on a different page here, again, to get to Google Forms, you could press these three lines and then select Google Forms and it'll bring you here to the homepage. So most likely you don't have anything here if you haven't used one before. On this account, these are the ones I previously made. So it will auto save every time you create a form so you could reopen it back from here. But let's go ahead and create one from scratch. So to create a Google Form, you just have to press the plus sign down here and press new. Some of the templates I showed you in the beginning are over here, but let's go ahead and learn it from scratch by creating a new form. Now the next step is you wanna give your Google form a name. I'm gonna create kind of a multiple choice survey here about favorite apps. So by giving it a title, you could see if you click up here, it will change the title. So you'll always be able to search for it based on the title. You can add a form description as well, but this part, is not necessary to do. Now, let's go down here. This is basically where you could create your quiz or your questions, and you have a bunch of different options available here. So I'll briefly show you how to create your first question. So you would type out the question here under Untitled Question. And once you type out your question, you wanna actually choose what kind of answer someone could give you. So by default, I have multiple choice, but if I click over here, these are all the different ways someone could give me an answer if I choose a different option. So if I choose check mark, for example, you could see that's going to change that option over here. And sometimes short answers, like if you want someone to type in a short answer, you could kind of leave it this way. This is great for a lot of homework assignments, for example. And a very common one also is this one called file upload. If you choose this option, people could basically upload different documents to you from their own Google Drive, so you could choose that option as well. And it will look something like this, and you do have some settings here, so number of files they could upload, the size of the file, you could change that here, and they will be able to click File Upload from this page right here. For this case, I'm gonna choose Multiple Choice, it's the one I use commonly. So for Multiple Choice, I need to give someone an option, right? So I would type in the different options they could choose from, because in this case, they could only choose one, so this would be similar to what a quiz would be. And you could also add a picture, but I'll show you adding images in a bit here to a different question. And then you add as many options as you want here. And this one, add other, you could also choose this as an option and it just lets people type in if one of these wasn't what they were looking for. So you can add this as well. If any of them don't make sense, you just press the X right here and it will remove it for you. Then you get to the bottom here, it says required. So if you want someone to be forced to answer something, you want to check this on to make it a required option so people can't just skip this question here and they will have to make a selection. Now, once you're happy with this, you could either duplicate it, so you could then have this basically the exact same thing and edit off of that, or in this case, let's create a new question as our second question. So if you go to the right side over here, you have a plus sign, this is for adding questions. But before I do that, let me show you a couple of different other options. You could also import questions, this is interesting. If you press this option, it will give you access to your Google Drive here. So any form you previously created, you could select it and you could import questions from there. So you see the different questions from that form, I could select like this and import that question just like this. This is a really interesting option as well. Now this one lets you add another title and description. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the garbage can. I don't need that in this case, I need more questions. Let me show you this one, add image. With insert image here, you could upload one. This is just from your computer. You could drag an image file here. You could access your camera here on your computer. 
go to your Google Photos, for example, or your Google Drive, and you could search Google Images here by just typing in something here and inserting it from here. In this case, let me just bring something that I'm gonna upload right here. I'll press Browse. Now it's gonna insert the image like this. You could give it a title. Now this is just going to be the image. If you want to actually add questions to it, you should just use this option, add a question, and then here, choose the image option from here to be part of this multiple choice question, for example. And you also have this video section. So if I press add video, you could actually search YouTube. So I have made a video on Google Docs, for example. So I could search for that. This is my video here. It just showed up number one. So I could select it and I could go ahead and press select to add a video. And it's going to add this section. So Google Docs tutorial. And let's go ahead and actually make this bold. So you have some options like that. And then people could just click and watch this video from YouTube. You could also upload it from your Google Drive. And I have full tutorials on all other applications on Google Drive. So I'll link those below if you want to see the complete overview of every single one, including Google Docs and Google Sheets. Let me jump into another Google Forms here. Anytime you could actually move questions and change the order of questions. So if you grab a question over here, I could make this the very first question, for example. And then I could do this with any of the questions I have listed below. And then you also have this section right here, add a section, you could click this right here and you could see it turned this to section one. And then if I come down here, it turned this to section two. So if I want to break up my quiz, for example, into different sections, this is a really great way to do it. And I'm gonna actually grab this question and bring it back to section one. So I have two questions in section one and section two could be a different type of a question. Now, let me show you some customization options. Right here on top, you have this customized theme. If you click this, you could change all kinds of things, including all the different fonts that you're using. And as you see up here, I have an image. So you could go to image uploaded right here, click that, and you could choose any image you want here and it will appear on top like this. Now you could also upload your own. You could change the theme color. As you see this bar right here, if I change the color of it here, it's gonna give the theme a different look. And this background on the desktop, you could also change the color of that as well. So those are your theme options. Now, once you're happy with the design and all your questions, what you typically wanna do is you wanna click this preview option. Now, this is gonna show you exactly what someone else is looking at on their account. So when you send this to someone, this is how it's going to look. But if you do test that out and answer these, it will save that as part of the results. So if you don't want your own answers as part of the result, don't answer. But in this case, let me go ahead and answer to show you. And again, it's gonna automatically save by the way, and you'll see real results in a second. And I'll answer this. And then if you see this next option, that means it has multiple sections. So if I press next, it's going to bring me to section two, which I didn't add any questions to. And then anytime someone press submit, it's going to give you the results. So now let me go back right here and to see my responses, I go to this tab over here. So this tab right here is gonna show me exactly the summary of how people answered my quiz or my survey. I could also go to questions here and see individual questions and the responses to each one and kind of go through it this way. And I could see individual people's responses here too. If I go over here and I see four different people responded and I could go through this as well. Now, if I wanna turn off this form, I could just turn it off right over here, not accepting responses. So if you go back and I say submit another response, it's not gonna let me do that. So make sure you don't turn it off here if you wanna keep getting responses here. And before I show you how to send this out, let me go to settings because you do have some options available here. So you could turn this into a quiz. This is gonna give you some other options here. So for teachers, for example, these are some good options to look through. I'm gonna turn this off since this is not going to be a quiz. Under responses, I could also choose limit to one response. So if you don't want people to go through this multiple times and submit multiple results, check this on over here. And then you do have some options for presentations like progress bar is really interesting. It's gonna show you what percentage of the quiz, for example, you completed, and you could collect email addresses by default as well if you want that option. Now, finally, you wanna send this, right? So the send option, let me click that to show you the options you have. So you could send it directly from here and that collect emails option is available here, which I typically have checked on. So you could type in different people's email addresses and press send. 
But a really useful option that I like is going to this option right here. And this lets you copy this link. As a matter of fact, you can make it shorter so it's easier to look at on a email, for example, and copy this. So press copy and then send this via email to your list, for example, instead of having to come over here and type every single individual email over here. But if you do go this way, go ahead and add a subject line, a message, and then you could include the form inside of the email with this option. You could always add editors on the bottom too if you're just inviting an editor to come and clean up this form or add their own questions. And the last option is right over here. This is if you wanted to embed this. So this is a HTML code. You could go ahead and embed this form inside of any website as well. But usually I use this option. I copy this and I send it to people and then I go to my responses and see how they're coming in. And if you click this icon, by the way, it will bring you back to the homepage and you'll see your previously made forms. And then you could press these three dots on any of them to remove them completely or to rename them. And again, if you want to learn about the other apps in Google Drive, like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and even Google Drive itself, I do have complete tutorials listed below. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.